Greetings everyone, you're welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Ngozi. So in today's video, I want to be doing things I have learned in this life. In my long years on earth. Yes, you heard me right. I am not a baby. I have really stayed long on this earth. So, and I have really learned a lot of lessons. And I want to be sharing the lessons. So this place you are seeing is Fege, Fege Housing. Fege Housing, Onisha. And he? yes just figure housing so as i tell you guys the lessons i've learned watch and learn the number one thing that i have learned in this life is never to hate anyone because of what i heard about the person and i am telling you guys do not hate anyone because of what you heard about the person you might be hearing it from a hater or the person that is telling you th bad things about someone did not and will not they don't always tell you what they did to that person that made the person react the way they did they will only tell you how bad this person is so one thing that i have learned by experience is never to hit anyone because of what i heard about them But two of what I have learned is be grateful for everything. Try to be grateful for life, for sleeping and waking up, for going out and coming back. A lot of people tell their, a lot of people say to their loved ones, let me go and come back and they never came back. So learn to be grateful for everything. Be grateful for the things that you have and continue to pray for the things that you wish to. Number three of what I have learned in this life is you need people. You cannot go through life alone. No matter how bad you think people have treated you in the past, you still need people. Or you hear, you can hear some people say, um, I have been mistreated before, so I don't, I don't want people. I want to be alone. I want to live my life alone. My sister, my brother, you cannot live your life alone. No matter how hard you try, maybe the first week you try, you might, like, you might be able to do it but for you to survive in this world you need people so number four of what i have learned the valuable lessons i have learned in this life is no one is perfect just let go and let god no one is perfect a lot of people that you look at that you look at and it seems that everything is going well with them everything is falling into place with them they have their own struggles hidden struggles that you might not be able to see but just understand that no one is perfect just let go of the bad things in your life and let god be your leader So number five is I have to talk to myself to admit that I cannot control everything. I can only do the best and leave the rest to God. I cannot control everything. And may God, my prayer that I am praying ever since I'm, I said this to myself is for God to give me the grace to recognize the things that I can change and work towards changing them and also to give me the grace to accept the things that accept the things that I cannot change and live a grateful life with it so that's it Number six 
of what I have learned is to pray about everything. God is not weary to hear from us. He's actually waiting to hear from us every minute of the day and no problem no problem is too small to pray about and no problem is too big for god what god cannot do does not exist number seven is i have learned to admit my mistakes never to lie to myself because no matter how you run from it it will always catch up with you yeah truth hurts but it's through the heart of the truth that will bring about new life new lesson new yeah development and everything so truth is priceless so i have to admit my mistake every time any day and try to do better number eight lesson i've learned is to rest if you don't rest you will rest by force train your mind train yourself to like at times even if you have something to do you just drop everything rest at that moment and so that you won't be left out in the important issues important issue that needs your attention so that is it rest when necessary number nine is spend time with people who you can learn from avoid staying where you are the role model I don't know how to explain. Learn new things every day. Learn from people. Spend time with people you can learn from. Number 10 lesson is to avoid using anyone to catch crews. I'm yeah, using someone to make my communication with anybody lively in a negative way. What I mean is in your discussion with anyone close to you or your friend make sure that your friendship is not sustained with gossip because the law of karma will bring it back to the table of both of you this number 12 is where i have fallen short of and i am seriously working on myself in this area it is listen to people no matter how wrong or how right you think they are listen to people and do not be in a hurry to give unsolicited advice always wait for people to ask for your opinion before giving out your opinion don't be in a hurry like oh ngozi i need, i need to work on myself in this aspect really really like this one hit me so hard <laughs> Number 13 of what I've learned is that I must not know everything. It's okay not to know everything. It's okay not to be like every other person. And also, it is not okay as I know my weakness that is hurting others that I will remain like that and be finding myself that it's okay not to be perfect. But it is very necessary that I work on it with the help of my God. Number 14 lesson is to try not to have everything all figured out. Like this is the major problem I have with myself. Sometimes when I look at my future and it seems blank, I forget all the present goodness, the present mercy of God and grace of God in my life. And I'll just leave it and focus on that one that's the that one future that seems bleak or seems uncertain. So I have learned to to like not have everything all figured out. The what if, what if, what if, what if is just limiting the power of God in my life. I've learned to let go and let God be in control of everything.
The summary of the whole thing is do not make your relationship with anyone stronger with gossips or with with the discussion of misfortune of people misfortune in this sense is not that like you are laughing at a disabled person but people's mistake and the rest please sort it out yourself i know that i have just passed my own message i learned I learned it and I want you guys to also learn from it so I have come to the end of the video please do accept I didn't this um, this life lesson that I just brought out I didn't really bring it out the way I wanted to because of the noise all around me I know as you are as you are listening to me you are you can still hear the noise everywhere but it's just that i've prolonged this lesson enough maybe on my birthday i'm going to be using it to as an official way of revealing my birthday and my birth month and abby <laughs> what am i saying as a way of revealing my age and also telling you the life lessons i've learned with the number of my years thank you for watching bye